Hello everyone, Farhan Thurder here and today I would like to talk about the diagnostic and kind of fault finding on the Tenere 700 but basically any motorcycle with the ECU and um, we are gonna do that using the ECU OBD protocol and the readers which I have here and the special cables which I have here and you can do that at home. It doesn't necessarily need to be in the um, service um, but there are some issues with that obviously um, so what I would like to do is uh, go through how we can connect these devices to the bike what the cables we need and um, show you how it looks when you read the codes when you can clear the codes and all that kind of stuff okay in order to read the error codes from the um, ECU we need the OBD reader now any motorcycle from what 20 years past um, has the OBD protocol and you can use the OBD reader like this or OBD reader like that in order to read it. Now you will see the ELM327, this is just a common um, device which you can use. Now you will notice that the plug for the OBD readers is exactly the same uh, and it's kind of big. You won't most likely find that one on the uh, bike. What you find on the bike is a different connector. On the Yamaha it's this four pin connector which uh, you need to plug this thing into which obviously you cannot unless you have a special cable which takes that um, OBD reader and plugs it into your bike. All the uh, equipment I have here I'm going to link in the description so don't worry about that. So I bought this one and what we can do is we can just plug it in like this and uh, I'm gonna use this one because it's a Wi-Fi this is a Bluetooth It's a little bit more finicky later more on that so what we do is now my key is now in off position and what I do is I plug that thing in turn on the key the fuel pump just buzzed in um, and we are now ready to start working. Open my OBD uh, application. I'm going to settings, preferences, communications and uh, communication type is Wi-Fi. It can be Bluetooth but we have a Wi-Fi reader. It's ELM327 generic and that's basically what we need to set in here. And now um, what I also need to do is to connect this iPhone uh, to a Wi-Fi network which this OBD reader does which is Wi-Fi OBD2. So I'm going to connect to that and open the application again. And, and the bottom of this app is the button and you can see that it's trying to get the information the OBD reader flickers like this and now I am connected and I can read the diagnostic. It's simple as that. And what I can see, this is probably the most important screen, is in the trouble codes I have no trouble codes detected and everything is all right. In the diagnostic this is what you want to see. No codes nothing's wrong. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna demonstrate what happens when there is a fault. I'm going to unplug the O2 sensor from the coupler which on the Tenere is over there. Connect. We are connected and it's now reading information and in diagnostic if I refresh the error codes, I now see that I have P0030. So now what to do with this information? Well, we go to the internet and Google what is P0030 and you will get your response and then you can start to debug that. Now, once you fix it, which I'm just gonna do by plugging in the connector, you can come in here and you can clear the trouble codes and then uh, the bike is okay you ride it and then you after a while connect the uh, diagnostic again to the bike and see if the error code is still there or not the p 
0030 is still there. So what I need to do is I need to clear the trouble codes. It's going to give me the warning that it's actually clearing up the state of the ECU, which is all right. You do yes, and it's going to read the trouble codes again. And now because I plugged in the connector, all my trouble codes are okay. Okay, a few notes which I think are worth mentioning doing the diagnostic this way. First is that um, because we're using a generic reader and we're using a generic app, which is not usually for motorcycles, but for cars, the error code uh, descriptions may be a little bit off, a little bit cryptic. That's the main difference. If you go to your dealer or a motorcycle shop, they may have a diagnostic for Yamaha and it will tell them exactly what the codes are. Um, with the generic stuff, it's a little bit off. Um, research in order to actually figure out what that means. Um, so that's the first one. The second one is that um, you have option for a Bluetooth or for the Wi-Fi um, readers. And what I found is that if you are on an Android device, it doesn't really matter. But if you are on um, iPhone, the Bluetooth sometimes doesn't work with iPhone. I bought this one for my travels because it's so small and uh, I tested it on um, latest iOS, which is 14 and, and iPhone 12. And this works really, really well. It is although a little bit of a finicky to connect. Uh, this Wi-Fi is much more straightforward. Also uh, important, um, it may happen that the application which you use, which you download, is not going to work with the, the with your adapter. So, for example, this uh, old one, this is a really old one actually, works with all the apps I tried, and this one is only working with the application which I showed. So, and the other applications say that it cannot recognize this um, reader. For the cables, so. This is a professionally made cable. You can also make your own cable because this is a normal Sumimoto uh, four pin um, connector. And you can actually get this um, connector as well um, on internet. And what you need to do is you just need to do your own wiring. So for the debugging, there's also one really useful feature and that's called freeze frame. What it does is that as you ride or something and the fold happens, the ECU records all the data it can into a freeze frame with the error code. So I think that's basically about it. Um, if you have any questions, please ask. Um, I hope it was useful. <laughs>